just going to share this word, and I'm going to turn it to Brother Merle for the offering, and I'll be done. You know, he did it backwards, but it's okay. It's all right, y'all. I'd rather run with the anointing. Y'all understand? I didn't know I was going to say the things that I said, but I don't take nothing back. Because it was for somebody. If it was just for me, Patty, it freed me. Amen. I was in a lot of pain when I came up here. But I can say I'm not in no pain right now. And I give God praise. I ask that you pray for us because I know that I'm already a winner. And I'm healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I'm just going to share this word with you the Lord gave me. I was to speak about, the title would have been, the terrifying day of God's judgment. Amen. How many of you know we're in the land of judgment now? Yes. Because we have not repented. Amen. Now in your time, write this scripture down, Jeremiah 4, verses 5 through 31. It talks about the judgment of God. And the reason God brought judgment to Israel is because they refused to repent. They refused to do what God wanted them to do. They refused. He put out a plea in the first part of chapter 3 and 4 for them to repent, and they did not. So God said, because you have not repented, I'm going to bring judgment. The Lord told me to tell the people tonight, America is under the thumb of God and judgment. That's right. Because we have not repented. Yeah. Can I tell you that in 2020, even though COVID, all that stuff there, I don't get into a lot of it, you understand? The reason we're where we are right now, we had an opportunity in 2020 to repent as a nation, and we did not do it. That's right. We did not. We got in fear. We allowed the enemy to come in in ways that we shouldn't have. And now here we are. So now we are facing the judgment of God. That's right. And God is calling for us to repent for real. Yeah. The church is in a mess. Yes, it is. Yeah. But how many of you know God is still in control? Amen. And you know we come to get healed, we come to get delivered, but there's more when we leave here. We must take what we have, yes. we must apply it, and we must walk in it. Yes. If I have unforgiveness toward you and I don't get it right, guess what? God is not obligated to do anything for me. Many of you even on Zoom, you're struggling with unforgiveness and bitterness and hatred, and you won't forgive those that did things to you. God is not obligated to help you. He's not, not, he won't do it because he won't go against his word. That's right. That's right. But when we humble ourselves, Amen. as 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people yes. who are called by my name, yes would humble themselves and pray. Yes. He says, seek my face. When you seek God's face, you're not seeking his hand or what he can do for you. You're seeking the help that you need. Yes. Come on. And many times we don't want to face ourselves when we get in trouble. But God says you got to face it. Yeah. So when you seek him, you will find him. When you seek him with your whole heart. So God also has a way of getting our attention. And sometimes he will use things that we don't want him to use. Come on. Mm -hmm. Judgment. We must understand that. So I'm going to read this to you and I will be done. Amen. And I have to tell you that I, I said, Lord, are you sure that I'm supposed to do this? He said, Deb, I know more than you do. <laughs> so that was the end of that. <laughs> the word from the Lord. The Lord says, I call for true repentance to come forth. Yes. I'm a just, righteous, and holy God. I'm looking for a people that will heed my voice, obey my commands, and come to me with a sincere heart. Yes. Now, if you've done that, 
I want to submit to you to keep doing it, but we have not done it as a nation. Yeah, that's true. We have not. We have, you know, and I don't mean to talk about nobody, but our White House is messed up. Congress If you knew the things that's going on, it would blow your mind. Let me just give you one. The other day, my daughter, she called me and she said, Mother, you're not going to believe this. She said, well, we got an apple, an apple that you eat, and it's not real. I said, well, what do you, what do you mean you got an apple and it ain't real? She said, Mom, this apple is not real. Do you know what you're eating? I have been preaching for two years. Before you go to the store, pray. They look at me, Brother Colonel, like I'm foolish. Before you go to the store, ask the Lord where to get your water. They look at me like I'm crazy. But your water is contaminated. Everything in your cabinet is contaminated. Yes. We must seek God. Amen. So now the apples are not real. They're cloning animals. Wonder me. Yep. I'm gonna say this too. Yes. They're cloning people. Yes. Oops. See, I knew he was gonna get me in trouble, but it's okay. No, it's it's the truth. It's the truth. Yeah, it's Amen. The truth. That's all right. They're cloning your voice through AI. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Artificial intelligence. They're stealing your information. Yes. This is the land we're living in. Yep. You don't know what's real and what's not. Our young people won't know who they're marrying in a few years. They won't know if the girl is a girl or a boy is a boy. I wish I had a church. Right. And this is why judgment is coming to America. Yeah. We've allowed it to happen. Yes. Right. We sat back in our seats of Zion and ease in Zion and we have allowed the enemy to come in and wreak havoc. can't even eat the meat. Things are making people sick. This is where we are. This is why God said you must tell the people judgment. He's not pleased with the church. And not only in America. All over the world. Nations he's judging. This is why the rains have been so hard. This is why the storm, we haven't been able to pray them down. I asked the Lord when I was in California, how come? He didn't say anything until just a few days ago, Brother Merle. He said, I don't like the sin that's running down the mountains and running through the streets and running in the capital. Amen. I'm tired of it. And I'm cleansing. Yes. Whole towns are being washed away. Yep. That's true. And we can do nothing about it but pray yep. for God's mercy. Yep. It's time to pray. Amen. It's time to call on God yes. for real. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is saying, sin will not reign. I will judge and I will cleanse the land, says the Lord. I am grieved because of the wickedness that is spreading like cancer throughout the world. Yes. I have called and called, but many have gone about with a deaf ear yes. to my pleas to repent. I say to you, listen to my voice. Look up and seek my face, for I love you with an everlasting love. I will show myself strong to my people. Yeah. I will work miracles for those who surrender their all to me. Let me tell you something. He's not going to work a miracle for you to go out 
and do what you want to do. Amen. I know a young lady several years ago that had stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. And God healed her. But God gave her a warning and said, you must walk a chalk line. She got her hair back. You couldn't tell she had went through the cancer. And she rose up and got rebellious and said, I will do what I want to do. I will live the way I want to live. And she went back into the lifestyle. Within two weeks, the cancer hit her head and went all through her body. She is dead tonight. God is not playing with us. He will not take, amen, our craziness and our excuses. He's calling for true yes. repentance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says this is the time to stand true to my word. Do not compromise for easy living. How many of you are taken down? Yeah. Constantly compromise. Yeah. You won't tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Just a short time ago, the Lord challenged me. He said, you got to stand up and confront some things. Can't let sin run rapid, even in your family. Sometimes tough love is the best way to go. Yes. Glory to God. Do not take down for what my word declares. Just as I judged in days of old, I am judging now, says the Amen. Lord. Amen. I call for true repentance. Yes. Walk in my word and do not deny my name. Cleanse yourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, and I will receive you. Come to me and take my yoke on you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I will give you rest for your soul, says the Lord. I say to you, repent. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. I will be your God, and you will be my people. I will favor you with grace and mercy. I will pour my spirit on you and refresh you with living water, says the Lord. I will not leave you nor forsake you. I say again, I am just, righteous, and holy. Walk with me, and I will walk with you. The last thing I want to say is this. Preachers, I want to encourage you to preach as never before. Amen. Speak the truth. Amen. Speak it in love. Mm -hmm. Speak it when you want to and when you don't. Yeah. <coughs> Teach his word. Mm -hmm. Do not compromise. That's right. Set your face as a flint. Yes. The graces and anointings that he's put on your life, walk in them. Yes. One of the things the Lord told me this weekend, he said, Deb, you must walk in everything that I put in you. Yes. When you have to walk as an apostle, walk. When you have to walk as a prophet, walk. When you have to evangelize, you share the gospel of Jesus Christ. When you must be a shepherd, lead my people. And when you must teach, teach. So I will not deny the Lord. I will not deny the anointing of God. Stand up, church, yes. and be the righteous church that God is calling you to be. Yes. Do not deny the Lord that bought you. Do not deny Jesus. People may not like you. They may talk about you. Let them. But you stand bold for Jesus. Because in this hour, we will be challenged. Amen. But I guarantee you, he will help you and he will keep you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you get put out, shake the dust off your feet. Yes. Go to the next. Yes. Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on here. Yes. You stand bold yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for everything that you've done here. Amen. I thank you for your precious men and women of God. And I ask, oh God, that you continue to pour into them as never before. 
Touch us. Convict our hearts of sin. And Lord, we thank you for the fire of God. I pray, God, that you touch our nation. Even in the White House. Touch. Father, send a cleansing. Send a purifying. Lord, you see all the corruption. You see all the sin. You're not pleased with it. So God, we ask that you move whatever you need to do, God. We, we ask you to do it. And we thank you for protecting us, even from all the stuff that's in the airways. God, you know how to protect us, according to Psalm 91. You said no plague would come near us. No pestilence would come near us. And God, when we hide ourselves in you, you protect us because you are our refuge. So Lord, we hide in your tabernacle. Touch tonight. Minister, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. God bless you.